<laughs> so like when you start out a recording there's only so many things i know to do you know what I'm yeah saying? well i'm glad that's in your <laughs> well what do you do you just you just go <laughs> i mean like anyways guys so we're almost done with season three which is bananas can't believe it um i'm ready to go man let's do it i was like please don't x out you always x out <laughs> when oh, bran wow. heard about john he got so excited he was like oh he's yeah. like guess what <laughs> and then he told him it was like dangerous he was mood change i'm starting to get to the point where i sort of feel like this is like my song <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you wrote it um you know like i should definitely have a say in his well-being you know <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'm dropping that child support part-time part -time custody with this song. Oh, people said we should know who Theon's torturer is. And I have my suspicions, but I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all because I'm probably wrong. I wish you would share with me off the cam cam because I have no clue, dude. Maybe it's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't remember me, brother. <laughs> that wall is nuts. But to be fair, I feel lost as hell in this too, so... <laughs> About a week, I think, when we went to Castle Black, we took the King's Road. Is that how you lot do your fighting? You march down the road banging drums and waving banners? <laughs> yeah, the... actually. Yes. How do the men holding the banners fight? They don't, really. <laughs> it's a great honour to carry your house sigil. What, and the drummers? Is that a great honour too? The young boys banging the drums, they help the men march. Well, it's, it's the rhythm. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, <laughs> right foot. But he's gonna get tired of her mocking all of his old customs, though. When Mans gives a signal and we hit Castle Black, we won't be banging on drums to let him know we're coming. No, you're just gonna light the biggest fire the North's ever seen. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> what a good comeback, Bill. Right, it worked. Hush, Hawkeye. No, you cut me <laughs> loose on the wall. Got her loose too. Rude. Talking about it because she understands the way things are. And now you're gonna share it with me. People work together when it suits them, love each other when it suits them, and they kill each other when it suits them. Which is why you'll never hold on to her. Okay. And John with the personality all of a sudden, he goes past the wall and he decides he wants to like talk and stuff. Right. That rain will cost us another day. Lord Walder is prickly by nature. It's prickly? Might be the least pleasant man I've ever met. Yes, and that is I've why we have I've seen wet to... shits I like better than nope. Walder Frey. <laughs> Dang, Blackfish. Lord Frey will take this delay as a slight. You can take it as he likes. He's getting the wedding he wanted. He's getting the wedding. <laughs> it was a king he wanted. Edmure is the best match of Freya's had in the history of their house. Yeah, you would have definitely been, though, you little, you little king of the north. She ain't even got a man no more, and you're just like... <laughs> and she knows that's, like, the biggest oath broken, and she's, like, so irritated about it, and he's just... You better watch that nose, bro. <laughs> that thing getting close to that eye. Y'all are in a war. Y'all better quit playing. Probably, like, six deep in a tent on top of each other. <laughs> Who are you writing? My mother. Is that Valerian? He's stressed. You can see it. Say hello for me. Her mama probably don't like you, Rob. You got her she right in the middle of a war. A queen. Not yet. Many surprises for her. Whoa. Pregnant? Will you come with me one day to Valantis? I know she'd love to meet you and her grandchild. Bro, I was right. Let's go, two bees. Aww. I'm going to be an uncle, baby. Let's go. <laughs> My brother Rob. Are you certain? She's a nurse, dude. Of course she's certain. Are you angry with me? I mean, dude, you was clapping in the candlelight. How could she not be? You're my queen. I have your little prince or princess inside me. Maybe one of each. Don't get greedy. Oh my God, I'm stressed out. I need to get a car seat. We gotta get a <laughs> bassinet, diapers. Can you leave the wall for one night? I love you. <laughs> Do you hear me? He said, but I can't leave that war. Mm -hmm. Like, congrats, guys. But I just, like, have a bad feeling about that for some reason. Yeah, man, that's like... That was like a bad omen in my stomach. What did he tell you? He's going to make you his lady and live with you in some castle. You didn't tell me anything. If you're jelly, just say that. I barely talk. I've seen you two whispering in the night, giggling like a pair of girls. You're jealous. Of course I'm jealous. You should be with one of your own. And you're one of my own. I've never heard a calm word from your mouth. You would, if you were mine. I'll tell you that you're beautiful. Fierce. Wild. I'll be good to you. <laughs> you love him because he's pretty, is that it? You like his pretty hair and his pretty eyes. I think pretty's gonna make you happy. Oh, don't touch me. You won't love him so much when you find out what he really is. Yeah, how is John gonna react when they go yeah, and start attacking his people? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. See the southern knights in their painted armor and King's Landing after dark. All the candles burning in all those windows. This is my favorite shot in the show, like so far, like the view right here. Mm -hmm. This is the best one in stupid my opinion. Stupid little girl with stupid dreams who never learn. Sounds Dude, if I could so sit young. with you right there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That'd be so cool. I remember the first time I saw you in the throne room. I'd never seen anyone who looked so unhappy. You would have been happy at Highgarden. 
the Women symbols. Women in our position must make the best of our circumstances. How do I make the best of my circumstances? I have to marry him. You gotta get the hell out. Has Lord Tyrion mistreated you? No. Has he been kind to you? He's tried. He's a Lannister. Far from the worst Lannister, wouldn't you say? Here I am complaining to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. sad are you on? My son will be king. Sons learn from their mothers. I plan to teach mine a great deal. Your son might be the Lord of Casterly Rock and mm -mm. the Lord someday. My son, with him, will have to. <laughs> it's the pain you're worried about. I'm not afraid of the pain. Not mm -hmm. after what Joffrey's done to me. He's rather good looking, even with the scar. Especially with the skull. He's a dwarf. <laughs> and Loras. Loras ain't a near kind, honey. Some women like tall men. Some like short men. Most women don't know what they like until they've tried it. Tyrion may surprise you. From what I've heard, he's quite experienced. That's a good thing. It can be. We're very complicated, you know. Pleasing us takes practice. How do you know all this? Did your mother teach you? Yes, sweet girl. My mother taught me. That girl's been around a town, child. boys. Mm -hmm. a foot taller than you. A tall child. What's the youngest you've ever had? Not that young. How much older? Bro, this whole episode so far. <laughs> I know. You're a lord, she's a lady. And the beauty of that, I don't see the problem. Shay isn't going to like it. Shay is a whore. <laughs> Are you going to marry her? How did marrying a whore work out for you the first time? I should never have told you about that. You want Shay? Keep her. <laughs> All you have to do is get a son in the Stark, girl. He'll be Lord of Winterfell one day. You can rule the North in his name. <laughs> You'll have two women and a whole kingdom of your own. <laughs> two women to despise me and a whole kingdom to join them. It always sounds like a retirement plan when they lay the it out, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> people to love you. You'll end up the most popular dead man in town. I don't pay you to put evil notions in my head. <laughs> One's already there, don't need company. You pay me to kill people who bother you. Evil notions come free. Dang, so when you paid someone to be your sword, like in these times, since there was no cell phones and stuff, obviously, they, they had to, to sit with you 24-7, <laughs> bro. Like, you can't just text them like, yo, I need help. Yeah, and you can't even raven them either or whatever it's called. No bow. You did. You see him. He didn't bow. Yeah, someone was right about that. Yeah, a couple goats in the comment section helping us out. Your Grace. Hello. Grandfather. You wanted to speak to me. I'd like a report on the meetings of my small council. You're welcome to attend the meetings of your small council, any or all of them. I've been very busy. Many important matters require King's attention. Of course. Like Roz, I bet. <laughs> You've been holding the council meetings in the Tower of the Hand. Oh yeah, Roz, the yeah, well, you little snake. I have, yes. May I ask why? <laughs> the Tower of the Hand is where I work. To walk from there to here would take time. Time I could otherwise spend productively. So if I wanted to attend a council meeting, I would now have to climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand? Yes. Oh, he steps forward. I don't know. I feel a little scared right now. Oh, he even does. He falls back a little bit. I went scary. <laughs> we could arrange to have you carried. <laughs> Tell me about the Targaryen girl <laughs> in the east and her dragons. Where did you hear about this? Is it true? Wow. He's holding information from Apparently him? so. Don't you think we ought to do something about it? <laughs> when I was Hand of the King under your father's predecessor, the skulls of all the Targaryen dragons were kept in this room. The skull of the last of them was right here. It was the size of an apple. Oh, wow. And the biggest was the size of a carriage. <laughs> yes. And the creature to whom it belonged died 300 years ago. Curiosities on the far side of the world are no threat to us. But how do we know mm. these dragons are just curiosities and not the beasts that brought the whole world to heal? Because we have been told as much by the many experts who serve the realm by counseling the king on matters about which he knows nothing. But I haven't been counseled. You are being <laughs> counseled at this very moment. <laughs> I should be consulted about such things. From now on, I will see to it that you are appropriately consulted on important matters. Thank God. Whenever necessary. All oh, right. Lord. The Tywin's in control here, little boy. Know that. Your grace. <laughs> the respect. So that really goes to show Joffrey's completely out of the loop about some of the most important matters literally in the realm. But he's too busy. He can go to the meetings. He's just too busy. The Yunkish train beds lace, not soldiers. We can defeat them. That is they crazy. The you see that? Mm -hmm. They have provisions, patience, and strong walls. If they're wise, they'll hide behind those walls and chip away at us. I don't want half my army killed before I've crossed the narrow sea. We don't need Yunkai, Khaleesi. Taking this city will not bring you any closer to Westeros or the Iron Throne. Tell me he's gonna have a different opinion. Let's How go. How many slaves are there in Yunkai? Two hundred thousand. 
if not more. Dang, that's an army and a half. Two hundred thousand reasons to take the city. Let's go. Se ponjo obulia yon mazurina. Lodar henkos vesho se hai astropotium kaiputilsa. You know, like the thing is, all it takes is Daenerys to come across that region, you know, and start liberating people, and just like that, man, she changes the future for the next, you know, ten thousand years in this place. Right, and she has she have so many people on her side for freeing them because they have nowhere else to go. Look, they're beating their drums. The uh, the wild folk was hating on that. I was about to say, that's not Daenerys in that. That's for sure. This guy is giving me straight mascara vibes up in here. <laughs> the guy I've lost. What's his name? Richard? Yeah. Yeah, he wore more eyeliner than Bam Margera. And Derek Carr. Yeah. Now comes the noble Razdal Moeres of that ancient and honorable house, master of men and speaker to savages, to offer terms of peace. <laughs> <laughs> Back up. You are in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Breaker of Chains and Mother of Dragons. Do you see the swirls in her eyes? Mm -hmm. You may approach. It was like her house sigil, kind of. Right. Ancient and glorious is Yunkai. Many an army has broken against our walls. You shall find no easy conquest here, Khaleesi. <laughs> My insulted need practice, so I was told to blood them early. It is true, you have committed savageries in Astapor, but the Yunkai <laughs> are a forgiving and generous people. The wise masters of Yunkai have sent a gift for the Silver Queen. Okay, and what is a gift worthy of Khaleesi Stormborn? Oh, gold bars. There is far more than this awaiting you on the deck of your ship. My ship? Yes, oh, better check it. You shall have as many ships as you require. And what do you ask in return? Is that you make use of these ships. Sail them back to Westeros where you belong. I have a gift for you as well. <laughs> your life <laughs> my life and the lives of your wise masters but i also want something in return you will release every slave in yunkai every man woman and child to be given as much food clothing and property as they can carry as payment for their years of servitude reject this gift and i shall show you no mercy you know that's going to completely mad. destabilize everything but we are not astapor or karth we are yunkai and we have she should ask friends, friends who would take great pleasure in destroying you those who survive we shall enslave once more perhaps we'll make a slave of you as well <laughs> you swore me safe conduct I did, but my dragons made no promises, <laughs> and you threatened their mother. Don't be rude to their mother. Take the gold. <laughs> they like the language. We found that out from the Hobbit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that's my gold. You gave it to me, remember? And I shall put it to good use. You'd be wise to do the same with my gift to you. Yeah, you're wise. Now get out. Dang, what a change she's made. The Yunkish are proud people. They will not bend. And what happens to things that don't bend? They break, Khaleesi. <laughs> Oh, that one's obviously like her favorite because that one's always like so protective of her. Chains. Solid gold from the mines outside Lannisport. Golden chains. You could buy a ship with me. Am no, I I'm... going somewhere? Of course you're not going anywhere. Am I invited to your wedding? <laughs> I didn't ask for this marriage. I didn't want it. No, she's a beautiful girl. You said so yourself. That doesn't he did say that. This is duty. Oh. I don't have a choice. My father does not rule the world. We can still go across a narrow sea. And what would I do there? Juggle? <laughs> I am a Lannister. Casterly rock. My feelings for you have not changed. I will marry Sansa Stark and do my duty by her. While I empty her chamber pot. <laughs> <laughs> not be like that. No. What will it be like? I will buy you a good home somewhere in the city. I feel like they could tell Sansa. <laughs> she would probably be cool Guards with it. To keep you safe. Servants. That poor girl just wants to go home. Any children we might have will be well provided for. You think I want children who can never see their father, who would be killed in their sleep if their grandfather found out about them? Listen to me. She's kind of right, though. I'm not your lady. You are. You'll always be my lady. Poor Tyrion. You don't want to marry that girl either. I know. Poor Shay. I think she actually likes, like, loves Tyrion, though. And I think she knows that that life is just not one that she wants. She'd rather just go home. Wherever home is. <laughs> across the sea, she said, right? Oh, gosh. What are you going to do with him? Wildfire. I should have been here. Through all the running and fighting, here I am, back where I started. Do you miss it? King's Landing. Your father's house. Never had a father. Never wanted one. Haven't you ever wondered where your strength came from? Your talent for fighting? I'm lowborn. As low as can be. My mother was a tavern witch. Mine was a slave. So was I. They really God believe that sword. matters, don't they? Mm -hmm. Scourged and branded until the Lord of Light reached down, took me in his hand and raised me up. I was born in Fleabot. Your blood is noble. He has no idea. You're saying my father, he was some lord or... There. 
Your father's house. Uh, 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 what? Man, that would stress me out. I was like, he was a steward in there? Didn't he say he's tired of, like, bowing to people and stuff? Mm -hmm. Now he's about to go. Now he's about to go do it hard. The bastard of Robert of the House Baratheon. Oh, wow. First of his name, King of the Andals, and the first man. Why do you think the gold cloaks wanted you? Because I there gave expensive armor. <laughs> Overpriced. I can't believe he found that out from her. <laughs> that would change my damn day. I'm set for the fire, child. Not talking, eh? That's the first. <laughs> I don't talk to traitors. <laughs> I didn't like giving up the boy. But you did. You took the gold and you gave him up. The red god is the one true god. We've seen his power. When he commands, we obey. He's not my one true god. Who's yours? Death. Oh, okay. That was dark, Arya. <laughs> does that got something to do with that redhead dude that she met? Yeah, because he does say Atlanta something like that. Yeah. yeah, he's like all about like, death and stuff. No more than 20. How far? Less than a day's ride south. What do you say, boys? Time for a lion hunt. <laughs> It's not south. It's west of here. It will still be west of here two days from now. You swore. Take you home and I will. But we need to do this first. Why? So you can steal their gold. I swear to you, this isn't any... I don't care what you swear. Because you're a liar. Mm -hmm. You lie to Gendry. You lie to me. You lie to anyone. I hope the Lannisters kill you all. One day you'll understand. But now... She's over it. Yeah, she said, I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand what's going on here, guys. I'm out. Who's that? Oh, oh, the hound. Won't do you no good. What are you doing out here by yourself? Thought you were gone. Have they told you what they plan to do with me? Lord Bolton's traveling tomorrow as well. He's going to the twins for Edmund Tully's wedding. You're to remain here. With Locke. Oh, no. I owe you a debt. When Catelyn Stark released you, we both made a promise to her. Now it's your promise. You gave your word. Keep it and consider the debt paid. I will return the Stark ghost to the mother. Let's go, Jamie. I swear it. I believe him, too. Turn up, dog. Goodbye, Sir Jamie. Oh, dude, I don't want them to leave each other. I feel like Jamie's good when he's around her. She brings out some type of compassion in him for some reason. I know. I'm like crying because I feel like she's going to die. Here. Ah, let me. Tyburn hopes your father will force the Citadel to give him back his chain. Father will make him grand mace if he grows me a new hat. You will give my regards to Lord Tywin, I trust. Tell Rob Stark I'm sorry I couldn't make his uncle's wedding. The Lannisters send her regards. <laughs> I bet. Safe journey, Kingslayer. Nothing to say. I don't remember chopping your balls off, too. Don't He's you so annoying. That your friend will take good care of her. I hate that guy. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. Is that Theon? That is Theon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What was that, girls? The girls are letting him down? Dude, he would have so many, like, infections and stuff. I know. <laughs> Gentle, my lord. <gasps> what is happening? I feel like this guy's torturing him again. Where is he? There's no one here but you, me, and Violet. That's my opportunity, bro. Like, get off me. I'm fighting my way out of there oh, at this point. You're it. gonna have to kill me. Everybody talks about it. <laughs> he sent you. Who sent us? We sent ourselves to his great We heard so much about it. <laughs> Please. Are you scared for him? I, I, I don't know what they're about to do. He thinks it's ugly. Oh, he's been through so much. Look at his poor face. Help me. Oh my gosh. If he comes back. We need to make him feel better. They know him. How can we make him feel better? I have an idea. Here it goes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to say, he's got to be sitting in the corner or something. Me. With a crossbow. But I was getting him jealous. Did you see this? Everyone's always going on about. Who's everyone? <laughs> Everyone knows you love girls. Would you say it's your most precious part? Oh, is he about to cut it off? That's probably some lore from the book about Theon, because I have not heard anyone say that. <laughs> no mercy, please! Or he's just please, taunting mercy, him. Mercy, mercy! This is mercy. Oh my god, what is that tool? I'm not killing you. Just making a few alterations. He's just gonna cut it off like that? I guess so. Is that not gonna kill him? No, no. That's what I'm saying. They wouldn't have got me in that. They wouldn't have got me in that opportunity, bro. Scare it off. It's too far away. Mm -hmm. What a shot. Is that a palace? It's a windmill. <laughs> windmill. Who built it? Some king. Just the men who used to live here. Oh, they must have been great builders stacking stones so high. Well, I'm Jon Snow and I'm from Winterfell. My daddy was a fancy lord and I lived in a tower that touched the clouds. If you were impressed by a windmill, you'd be swooning if you saw the great keep at Winterfell. Not swooning. <laughs> fainting. What's fainting? 
<laughs> when a girl sees blood and collapses. Why would a girl see blood and collapse? <laughs> she probably gets excited over it. All right. girls are like you. All girls see more blood than boys. Or do you like girls who swoon, Jon Snow? I'd like to see you in a silk dress. Well, you rip from a pretty silk dress. I'll blacken your eye. <laughs> maybe one day I'll take you to Winterfell. Oh, maybe one day I'll take you there. <laughs> After we've taken our land back. Yeah, that's going to be an issue in the future, John. Egret, six times they failed. And how do you know that? We grow up learning it. Where the battles were fought, the names of the heroes, who died where. Six times you've invaded and six times you failed. The seventh will be the same. Mance is different. You don't have the discipline. You don't have the training. Your army is no army. You don't know how to fight together. You don't know that. I do. If you attack the wall, you'll die. All of you. They'll definitely die if they get further than the wall. All of you're gonna see that crow face looking dude peeking around the rock <laughs> or an eagle is gonna attack them yeah if we die we die first we'll live what's he going on about and how come he always gets to sit and chat while we do all the work <laughs> that's where we are what are you yeah. telling him it's all right Usher. it's not all right you think i can't hear you every day filling his head with black magic talking about Visions and three-eyed ravens and... I don't fill his head with anything. So what do you talk about? What's happening to him and what that means. Go on then. Tell us what it means. It's not like that. I wish I could tell him all the answers. It would be much easier. I don't want you talking to him anymore until we get to your brother at Castle Black. She's We're so protective. What did you say? I told you already. Jon Snow isn't there. Bran needs to find the raven beyond the wall. Oh, no, I'm not going back there. Your brother is at Castle Black. That's where we're going. The raven's been coming to me ever since I fell from that tower. I don't have my legs anymore. This is what I have now. You have a family. You need to go back to Castle Black so you can get back to them where you belong. What if I belong in the north? What if I fell from that tower for a reason? Is that what he's telling you? That it's all for a reason? All these bad things happen because the gods got big plans for you. I wish it were true, little lord, but the gods wouldn't spare Raven's cold shit for you or me or anyone. You don't understand. You don't know. You don't know. None of you know. None of you have been up there. It sounds like they're all just sort of biased, right? Mm -hmm. I had a and man she's once. been up there. I was his and he was mine. But one night, Bruni disappears. People said he left me. He'd never leave me. I knew he'd come back. And he did. Only it wasn't Bruni. Not really. Oh, no. His skin was pale. Oh, he done got all iced out, huh? Mm -hmm. His eyes bluer than clear sky. He came at me, grabbed me by the neck and squeezed. I could feel the life slipping out of me. I don't know how I got the knife. When I did, I stuck it deep into his heart and he hardly seemed to notice. Wow. I had to burn our hut down with him inside. I didn't ask the gods what it meant. I didn't need to. I already knew. It meant the North was no place for men to be. So she's scared to death of that. She don't want to go there. That I'd get you to Castle Black and no further. It was nice to get a little backstory on her, though. Yeah, that was crazy. Very sad, but crazy. She had like a normal life of some sort. Like a, a wildling life, because she said How is the pain, same phrases they use. What's Oof. the purpose of an arm with no hand? Mm. Looks like you can still elbow someone. Well, we've stymied the corruption. You did well sewing up this mess. Why did the Citadel take your chain? Did you fondle one boy too many? No, my lord, that's not my weakness. What is? Curiosity. Oh, the my. The only way to treat disease is to understand disease. And the only way to understand it is to study the afflicted. Oh, wow. They performed experiments on living man. Saved many lives. Dying paupers, I assume. Men with no families to complain. You can't judge, Jamie. You'd be killing people with your sword. How many men have you killed, my lord? I don't know. Fifty? Countless. Countless has a nice ring to it. <laughs> How many lives have you saved? Half a million. Population of King's Landing. Facts. That is true. You were in charge of the ravens at Harrenhal. Lord Selwyn Tarth offered 300 gold dragons for his daughter's safe return. Fair offer. Fair offer. Luck won't take it. Oh, yeah, because his lie when he said he was the blue sapphire. Mm -hmm. He probably wants Lord more. Tarth owns all the sapphire mines in Westeros. He feels he's being cheated. He thinks he's about to get rich, huh? Right. 300 little he's dragons ain't enough for him. Time. Most of them Whatever that means. By winter. She'll be their entertainment tonight. Oh, don't tell me this dude's about to go back for her. There's no way. Does he look like he's thinking about it? Yeah, it looks like he's considering it. Come on. Manipulate him into taking you back. We have to return to Harrenhal. Why? I've left something behind. Absolutely not. I've got orders from Lord Bolton. And what are those orders? To deliver you to your father at King's Landing. You think you'll get a reward? 
Let me explain something to you. When my father sees me, the first thing he's going to ask is what happened to my hand. And I'm going to tell him this man chopped it off. I had no idea. I could tell him this man saved my life. We return to Harrenhal now. Yo, Jamie's got leverage, bro. I know. That's only if he gets to reunite with Tywin, you know? <laughs> Dude, I'm just going to say it, baby. If Jamie goes back to this place to save Brienne and he dies, I'm going to throw up. Like, Me too. I do not I'm want really, another character to I'm be sad about show. that. That place is sick. Prop set, unbelievable. Hair and all. Goes hard, don't it? I told you last, be quiet. Title. Oh, is it? Oh, here's that song that those people were singing, The Brotherhood. One of the three songs they sing a lot? Yep. Oh, my girl's in there. Who's she fighting? <gasps> oh, she's fighting Snoopy. Oh, my God, it's got her. <laughs> oh, Stop heck no. Fight. Yo, is that a wooden sword? That's so That's jacked crazy. up. Oh, Jamie sees it, too. Gone. Knock his butt in there. Gold. Sapphires, whatever you want, just get her out of there. Oh, you lords and ladies. You still think that the only thing that matters is gold. The well, ministers pay their debts. All, that makes me happier than all her sapphires. So go buy yourself a golden hand and fuck yourself with it. Oh, man, Jamie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dang, he caught it and then hit her with the left. No. Oh my god, I can't. This happened when he's so irritated. Get behind me. Well, not. Okay, Jamie. Uh, Jamie, let's get the flesh strokes over here. That poor oh, bear. Fuck Lord Bolton charged me with bringing him back to King's Landing. A lie. And that's what I aim to do. Let's go. Oh, now it's mad, though. Oh, it's going to be mad at them. <laughs> One arm. Oh my gosh. Just throw some honey on the other side. Well, they have a whole arena for this. You know that they've been did this like a hundred times. The bitch stays. Taking it to King's Landing. She belongs to me. Lord Bolton's orders. What do you think is more important to Lord Bolton? Getting his pet rat a reward or ensuring time and Nanus to get his son back alive? Right. Don't overplay it, Jamie. I think he's got him right now, though. Well, we must be on our way. Sorry about the sapphires. <laughs> Y'all were dead wrong for that. Damn, man, that's the best act Jamie's done in the whole series. He went back for more. Rest everything. Poor bear, though. Had to get shot in the neck for no reason. Guys, that episode was freaking crazy, man. I'm becoming a Game of Thrones. What's the word? Super fan, maybe? Yeah. Not maybe like a super fan, because I don't want to insult you guys. But geez, man, I'm really, really digging this. So that was crazy. Bran was caught between, I don't know, man, a bear trap and a hard place. And she had yeah. to go one-on-one -on -one with a bear. And she was losing with yeah. a wooden sword. Yep, because that was messed up for them to do. Crazy. Give her that only to defend herself. What did you think about this episode, Mom? I thought it was crazy. I thought that I, I really liked what Jamie just did right there. That just made me really happy. Um, yeah, that makes me like Jamie more. Yeah. Right. Um, Seeing Daenerys in this was insane because she's just completely changed. Yeah. Her whole demeanor. I don't know if it's an act to look like, you know, fierce or whatever. Because she's like very demanding right now. Like, you know, she kind of like before would advise with them. Now she now she kind of doesn't say anything. Well, anytime someone gets on TV, even when you take like like the real Vladimir Putin, right? You put him on TV and he he puts this face on TV and he's very serious and he's in the middle of a war. And, you know, the truth is the guy will hunt you down and kill you. You know what I'm saying? He's a very serious character. But at the end of the day, it's still an act. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, at the end of the day, he's probably thinking about cartoons he watched as a kid. He's probably thinking about God knows what. He's definitely putting on an act, man. So definitely I can see what you're saying in this show, babe. Like everyone sort of puts on a front in mm -hmm. a way. I don't know if people are really like the way they necessarily you know people have defense mechanisms and they put up a front so there's a mm -hmm. lot of that going on in the show mm -hmm. um you're right about daenerys man power move she comes in and basically they offer her all the riches all the things that at the beginning of her quest she would have probably just been accepted, all for yeah at this point, her mission's becoming a lot bigger. It's not only about how is she going to get over to another continent and reclaim what she believes to be rightfully hers, but how is she going to do it in a way that actually makes a difference and helps people and puts her on the right side of history. So the problem is, man, anytime, as we know, anytime you go and you try to do the right thing and you think that you know it's right and you do the right thing by force, you always risk becoming like a tyrannical character mm -hmm. to other people. So um, her family does have a history of tyranny, so we'll see how that plays out. But mm -hmm. so far, man, I'm rocking with Daenerys. I like what she's doing. The whole land over there just seems very corrupt. I mean, yeah, they don't have much of a society over there. It looks like it's 100% driven on just like hierarchy and slave labor. Mm -hmm. 
um, which, you know, Westeros in a way is the exact same way, but it's just played out a little different with like the slavery and stuff. I think there it's more about instead of like having slaves in Westeros, they have really, really unquestionable soldiers, like soldiers who will just yeah. fall on a sword for you. And that just seems to be like how they're brainwashed into accepting like the way things are. So just two completely different cultures and they essentially are kind of set up the same though. Like the yeah. people in Westeros are essentially slaves too. They're slaves to this political game that mm-hmm. the highborns play and keep them, you know, grinding out the labor for. So right. crazy ass episode, man. I'm ready to get into it. What are we on episode eight? Mm-hmm. Let's go. It's called second sons. Let's go. Maybe second sons. Well, he obviously didn't kill her. Bro, she's taking her shot. There's no way. Is this going to be the first one on her list? She's going to give him a headache. He's going to be mad at her the whole time. I'll give you one try, girl. (laughs) (laughs) Kill me and you're free. But if I live, I'll break both your hands. (laughs) Look at her. Go on. Hit me. Hit me hard. I would pretend to do it just to see how he reacted (laughs) next time, though. Aw. Truth is... Lucky, you don't want to be alone out here, girl. Someone worse than me would find you. There's no one worse than you. <laughs> I never knew my brother. <laughs> he once killed a man for snoring. There's men who like to beat little girls. Saved your sister from some of them. That is true. You're lying. Ask her if you ever see her again. Ask her who came back for her when the mob had her on her back. Is that the black water? The black water? <laughs> Where do you think I'm taking you? <laughs> back to King's Landing to Joffrey and the Queen. <laughs> Fuck Joffrey. Fuck the queen. That's the red <laughs> fork. I'm taking you to the twins. To her mom. Because your mother and brother will be there, and they'll pay me for you. Why would they be at the twins? Those outlaws you love so much never told you. Your uncle's marrying one of the Frey girls. Quit trying to bash my skull in. We might just make it there in time for the wedding. Aww. Aww. Okay, the hound. I kind of like you now, even though you did some bad stuff before. I still only like you like 1%. Yeah, but your likeness scale in my book is like up a little bit. Men fight for gold of neither honor nor loyalty. They cannot be trusted. Can be trusted to kill you if they're well paid. The Junkish are paying them well. You know these men? Only by the broken swords and their banners. They're called the Second Sons. Company the title. led by a bravosi named Mero. The Titan's bastard. Is he more Titan or bastard? He's a dangerous man, Khaleesi. They all are. How many? Two thousand, your grace. Armored and mounted. Enough to make a difference. Where's that fly at? Hard to collect wages from a corpse. I'm sure the Celsals prefer to fight for the winning side. I imagine you're right. He may not agree to meet. He will. Man who fights for gold can't afford to lose to a girl. Your Grace, that allow is me true. to present the captains of the Second Sons. Miro Bravos. Brenda what a squad. Negezen. Dario Naharis. You're the mother of dragons. I swear I f- to you once in a pleasure house in Lee. Mind your tongue. This dude needs to go. Ew. <laughs> you, slave girl, bring wine. We have no slaves here. You'll all be slaves after the battle, unless I save you. Give me Slow your roll there, brother. I may not have you gelded. So, Barristan, how many men fight for the Second Sons? Under 2,000, your grace. We have more, don't we? 10,000, unsullied. I'm only a young girl new to the ways of war, but perhaps a seasoned captain like yourself can explain to me how you propose to defeat us. <laughs> I hope the old man is better with a sword than he is with a lie. You have 8,000, unsullied. You're very young to be a captain. He's not a captain. He's a lieutenant. Even if your numbers are right, you must admit the odds don't favor your side. The second sons have faced worse odds than one. The second sons have faced worse odds than run. Oh, okay. Or you could fight for me. We've taken the slaver's gold. We fight for Yunkai. I would pay you as much and more. Mm-mm. Why do you want him on your side? <laughs> Contract is our bond. We break our bond. No one will hire the second sons again. Ride with me and you'll never need another contract. You'll have gold and castles and lordships of your choosing when I take back the Seven Kingdoms. You have no ships, you have no siege weapons, you have no cavalry. A fortnight ago I had no army. A year ago I had no dragons. You have two days to decide. Watch your mouth. Show me your I want to see if it's worth fighting. Near Dari, Beza, Nechte, Las, Ja, and Gozi. You see, Elvis, and Trissi, you see. She's very diplomatic, isn't she? Bastard does not drink alone. In the second sons, we share everything. After the battle, maybe we'll all share you. Or maybe my dragons will share you, bro. I know. Matter of fact, they don't have to share. There's three, y'all. I'm looking for you when this is over. Mm mm. You don't need that on your side, Daenerys. Sebastian, comes to battle, kill that one first. Gladly, your grace. Carve him like a cake. Stannis. 
Stannis, rightful heir Stannis. Oh, he's gonna meet his uncle. Why would he? Why would she bring him here? What if it's to kill him? Because uh, if she's on Stannis' side, then he ain't no good for the claim. Bro, I don't know, man. My guess is as good as yours. I don't know what they're about to do to him out there. Make him be a surrogate for a new demon child. Smile a little bit, Stannis. You're meeting your son, bro. Not his son. His, oh, nephew. his nephew. I mean. Oh no. Yeah, that's Robert. So my bad. Half Robert, half Lobo. Show the boy to his chambers. Have the maid storm a bath and find him some decent clothes. I'll come visit you soon. Sanders is mad about it. My replacement. What do you mean to do with him? You know what I mean to do with him. Then why bathe them and dress them in fine clothes? If it needs to be done, do it. Don't torture the boy. Have you ever slaughtered a lamb, Mike? Oh my gosh. No. If the lamb sees the knife, she panics. Her panic seeps into her meat, darkens it, fouls the flavor. You slaughtered many lambs. And none have seen the blade. They brought him here to kill him. That's so jacked up. Arya's gonna add y'all to her list. I know she's gonna have to go yeah. take the damn iron throne to kill all those people. Rod, Rod, Vag, Aha. He's doing good though. Mm, those are tough names. Kenya, <laughs> Targaryen, Rod, Vag, the smallest of the. Dragons. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. Uh -uh. He better not confiscate his books. Your grace, they're feeding enough. Two meals a day, all for breakfast, hot for supper. Belong in a place like this. Well, it's sad to say, but I've seen worse. I'm sorry about your son. I get the chance to tell you before. Oh no. Good lad. It's confirmed now that he's gone, right? Mm -hmm. Melisandre's returned. Great. Didn't know she'd been gone. Came back with a bastard boy. Robert's bastard boy. Why? Because there's power in King's blood. She's going to kill him. Sacrifice him. Forgive me, Your Grace, I'm not a lettered man, but is there a difference between kill and sacrifice? The boy's your nephew. What of it? We're at war. Because he has your blood in his veins. So did Renly. Yeah, and stabbed him up. You. Renly declared himself king when the throne belonged to you. This boy's done you no harm. This He's boy just found out yesterday. In Westeros. What's that? How many girls? That boy just found out yesterday. <laughs> The darkness will devour them all, she says, the night that never ends, unless I triumph. I never asked for this, no more than I asked to be king. We do not choose our destiny. Great or small, we must do our duty. What's one bastard boy against the kingdom? Is he trying to justify it? He's trying, but he ain't doing yes. a good job. Why did you come to see me today? Came to free you. Really? If you swear never to raise your hand to the Lady Melisandre again. I can't swear never to speak against her. You have little regard for your own life. Quite little, Your Grace. Virgin unknown. You could have freed me yesterday or tomorrow, but you came to me now before this boy is put to the knife because you knew I counseled restraint. I believe you it. You came to hear me say it because you believe it yourself. Right. You're not a man who slaughters innocence for gain or glory. Or at least you didn't used to be. I saw a vision in the flames. Great battle in the snow. I saw it. Well, there you go. That's what he saw. And you saw whatever she gave birth to. I never believed, but when you see the truth, when it's right there in front of you, how can you deny her God is real? From his point, I would be kind of confused about it too, honestly. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be like talking to that fire some more, asking some questions. Dario Naharis. I fight for beauty. <laughs> for beauty? The thrill of killing a man who wants to kill you. You'll die young. What do we do about the dragon girl? We can't beat 8,000 unsullied on the battlefield. There won't be a battle. We don't have to deal with our eunuchs. We only have to deal with her. One of us slips into our camp, pass her unsullied in her nights. Good luck with that. She's got three dragons, bro. They're like sleepers too, I heard. Three coin. Coin from Marine, coin from Volantis. Coin from Bravos. The Bravos, he does the deed. Oh. Yeah, he kind of looks like that dude too, don't he? Yeah, they all kind of have the same vibe with the hairstyle. Lady Sansa. You look very handsome, my lord. Oh, yes. The husband of your dreams. <laughs> but you do look glorious. <laughs> look at Shay. Padre looks so depressed by her. Do you mind? Podrick, could you escort Lady Stark's handmaiden? <laughs> Oh, poor Shay. Yeah, if I was Tyrion, that'd just be too much for me. I know. My lady, I want you to know, I didn't ask for this. I hope I will not disappoint you, my lord. No, Aww. Don't. You don't have to speak to me as a prisoner anymore. You won't be a prisoner after today. You'll be my wife. Oh, they're getting married today? I suppose that's a different kind of prison. <laughs> just want to say I know how you feel. I doubt that very much, my lord. Yeah, that's true. You're right. I, I have no idea how you feel. And, but I promise you one thing, my lady. I won't ever hurt you. Do you drink wine? When I have to. <laughs> well, today you have to. I mean, that's better than how it was, you I look guess. Radiant, yeah. Your grace. Radiant? Why, why radiant? <laughs> it's the word that came to mind. <laughs> We're going to be sisters soon. We be sisters. <laughs> You're a musical girl, aren't you? Imagine you have a lovely voice. Oh, but you know the song, The Reigns of Castamere. Of course. They play it so often here at court. So you know the story of House Rain of Castamere? Not as well as you, I'm sure. House Rain was a powerful family, very wealthy. 
second wealthiest in Westeros. Aren't the Tyrells the second wealthiest family in Westeros now? Of course, ambitious climbers don't want to stop on the second highest rung. If only you could take that final step. You'd see further than all the rest. You'd be alone with nothing but blue sky above you. So Lord Rain built a castle as grand as Casterly Rock. He gave his wife diamonds larger than any my mother ever wore. And finally, one day, he rebelled against my father. Oh, no. Do you know where House Rain is now? Gone. Gone. Well, so that song is like a, like a reminder, sword. don't mess with the Lannisters mm -hmm. in a way. Every man, woman, and child put to the sword. I remember seeing their bodies hanging high above the gates of Casterly Rock. My father let them rot up there all summer. It was a long summer. Look at her face. Like, they're talking about something now good. the rains weep o'er their halls. And not a soul to hear. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. Yo, I like that, man. I don't like all that sister, sister fun talk. Yeah, but it's, that's Marjorie's way of manipulating. She did that to show that she's more powerful of her because she is after she marries Loris and she marries Joffrey. Yeah, but Cersei just says straight up, you might think you are a little girl, but I, I am know. Cersei at the end of the day. I know, and that's that's why Cersei's so awesome for that. <laughs> that's why I like her and Joffrey at the end of the day. Like, they're sort of my favorite. Oh, look at him. No. What are you doing? Your father's gone. As the father of the realm. Oh, no. It's my duty to give you away <sighs> to your husband. It's my wedding. I object to that. How about that? He's, if he has one way to be a D-bag, this is like. Yeah, he like hates Sansa. That changed. He's like, the least I can do. I beheaded your father. Let me walk you down. <laughs> Why is Tywin so goofy looking right there? He took the stool. What a jerk, Joffrey. Oh, it's for Cersei to sit on? You may now cloak the bride nope. and bring her under your protection. He just doesn't want Sansa to have her moment at all. Oh, how's he going to do that? Come on, Sansa, read the room. Maybe she can't squat down because she has like that corset thing on. Could you? Teamwork. Let's go. Thank you. Your grace, your grace, my lords, my ladies, we stand here in the sight of gods and men to witness the union of man and wife. One flesh, one heart, one soul. I mean, I'll be honest, that wasn't really that great. Mm -mm. That's but, one wedding down. That one wasn't that great. But that one, you know. Came up a little short. Yeah, a little last minute. Have you ever seen one like it? I've never seen anything like any of this in my life. It's shocking, isn't it? First time you encounter real wealth. When I was your age, I lived on one bowl of stew a day. In Flea Bottom, we called them bowls of brown. Mm. Ew. <laughs> We'd pretend that the meat in them was chicken. He's like, Grant. Anyways, <laughs> back to sacrificing you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, taste this. No. You think I'm trying to poison you? Yeah, but you should have seen her like, well, two seasons ago, she drank poison, she was all good. Good. That's really good. Where do you think it's from? I couldn't even guess. Doesn't matter. Dorn. Does it? It's the real thing or it's not. You only need a tongue to tell the difference. Go on, have some more. You better throw it over your shoulder. You still don't trust it. You think <laughs> yeah. this is all a mistake and that you'll have to pay somehow for every bite you take. <laughs> that thought had crossed my mind, yeah. There are no mistakes. Not for us. I had a mistake. Only here because my father grabbed my mother instead of the girl next to her in the tavern. Your father chose your mother because the Lord of Light willed it. He willed it so you could be here right now. There's a power inside you you can't even begin to understand. Oh, no. And he brought me here to draw it from you and birth it into the world. Yeah, that'd be stressful with Stannis in the room. Like right next door, you know? We're both a part of his plan. He wants this for us. No, he demands this of us. I don't understand this. It doesn't seem very religious. According to whom? <laughs> God is real, or oh, he's not. You only need eyes to see. She preaches so much, bro. So she has to get naked to manipulate him? Well, yeah, but <laughs> what do you mean? One and everything. The darkness that will swallow the dawn. We can stop it. You think his baby will come out looking like a smoke monster again? Yep. I think anything she births is going to be a smoke monster. You think so? Mm. What are you doing? You have to trust me. Uh-uh. Man, she lured you in just like a spider, bro. You fell for it so easy. These dudes must just be so desperate on this show. Oh my gosh, what is that? A leech? Oh, that's how she's gonna get the blood. Get it off me. <laughs> don't fight, don't fight. They won't take much. Why are you doing this? Why couldn't she just ask for a blood sample? I told you this power in the blood of kings. That's so jacked up. You can blame Sir Devos. 
bro. I used to get those all over me back when I was a kid. Swimming in the pond. Mm -mm. What are they gonna do with him now? Oh, he's sacrificing the leech. So he just put some voodoo on him, basically. <laughs> you Miserable. will be the king's stepfather. He's or like, no this freaking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you pardon me, my lord? I know he's acting a dang mess. En enjoy. Is he drunk? Yeah, he's drunk. He saw his little smile and he was. Perhaps you could talk to your bride to be instead. Oh, he wanted to go torture Sansa, didn't he? I've got a lifetime for that. He was just ready to torture Sansa. He was just smiling about it. Thursday, go talk to your husband. But notice he was hiding, waiting until Tyrion was gone. Stay. You seem rather drunk. <laughs> Rather less than I planned to be. Isn't it a man's duty to be drunk at his own wedding? This isn't about your wedding. Renly Baratheon had a wedding. Your wife needs a child, a Lannister child, as soon as possible. If you're going to give her one, you need to perform. What did you once call me? A drunken little lust-filled beast. Nothing to worry about. Drinking and lust. I am the god of jits and wine. <laughs> I shall build a shrine to <laughs> The next brothel I visit. I can see why he hates his son, though. I really can. Yeah. But you will do your duty. <laughs> oh, Pycelle's with the girls. You see it? Mm -hmm. Matching the dang columns anyway. <laughs> Loris is like, man, this sucks. Oh, ones told Nobody it. cares what your father once told you. <laughs> Congratulations, my lady. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Well, you've done it. You've married a Lannister. Soon you'll have a Lannister baby. It's a dream come true for you, isn't it? Yes, Your Grace. I suppose it doesn't really matter which Lannister puts the baby into you. Maybe I'll pay you a visit tonight after my uncle passes out. How'd you like that? No, thanks. You wouldn't. It's all right. So Marin and Saboris will hold you down. All right, Joffrey, if you're going to start doing all that junk, bro, you can, I, 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 can't, I can't rock with you no more, bro, because that's weird. I'm going to stutter so much of that. You're a respectful tradition, uncle. Come, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Pick He's being so eccentric. Get her wedding bed. Get rid of her gown. She won't be needing it any longer. Ladies, attend to my uncle. He's not heavy. There oh. will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Then you'll be f your own bride with a wooden... Oh. In front of everyone. What did you say? Oh, my gosh. What did you... Say! Long live the king. I believe we it. can dispense with the bedding, Your Grace. I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. <laughs> <laughs> A bad joke, Your Grace. Made out of envy of your own royal manhood. Mine is so small. My poor wife won't even know I'm there. Your uncle is clearly quite drunk, Your Grace. I am. <laughs> but it is my wedding night. My tiny drunk and I have a job to do. Oh my god, how embarrassing. <laughs> Come with. I don't think Tyrion has one piece of like embarrassment left in his soul in this world, world, though. In the middle of the act, not proud of it. Besides but that. I think honesty is important between a man and wife. Don't you agree? Come. I'll tell you all about it. Is he but trying to act? Dude. Is he trying to act more drunk than he is? So like, I don't even know what he's so trying Joffrey to do. don't take his head off? Yeah. Does he realize <laughs> he just messed up? I don't know, man. He might be blasted. I know. My name is Tyrion. Is that wise, Tyrion? Nothing was ever wiser. <laughs> He's struggling. Astoundingly long. What? Neck. You have one. <laughs> are you calling her a giraffe? How old are you exactly? Fourteen. Oh my god. Poor dude. My lord father has commanded me to consummate this marriage. Where's Sansa? You better start rubbing them toes or something. Yeah, she's like, turn up. Well, I got a feeling Shay's about to bust in. I know. It sucks, dude. The whole show is making it seem so tragic that someone has to sleep with Tyrion. <laughs> hey, poor guy. But it's awkward because she's so young. Yeah, he doesn't want to do that. Stop. Can't. Right. I could. I would. <laughs> but your father. If my father wants someone to get f***ed, I know where he can start. <laughs> <laughs> Talking like a sailor. I know. I won't share your bit. Not until you want me to. Aww. What if I never want you to? <laughs> <laughs> and so my watch begins. <laughs> that sucks, I love, bro. I love that Deering just did that, though. <laughs> He's like, proud proud wife. <laughs> he just passed out. And so his watch begins. <laughs>
Yo, they said they were gonna sneak in and try to kill her at night. It's night. Oh yeah, look. Oh wow. They're infiltrating. It's the guy with the long hair, isn't it? Yeah, he should have put that on the inside of his pants. 19. How can anyone speak 19 languages? It only took your grace a year to learn Dothraki reasonably well. What do you mean reasonably well? Dothraki is difficult for the mouth to master. Je drogo as Dothraki me thrashoma atjan atjaka. Oh, it's not that great. <laughs> at jahakar. <laughs> at jahakar. At jahakar. At jahakar. He just loved you. <laughs> he just loved you. Wait, when I tell you that cooking's good. Oh. <laughs> I'm Your just kidding. Your Hyperion is very good, Your Grace. Gods could not devise a more perfect tongue. It is the only proper language for poetry. <gasps> no screaming, or she dies. Yo, where's Grey Worm at? Okay. What do you want? I don't know what to think about this dude. You. Let her go. Don't scream, lovely girl. <gasps> lovely girl, he's just like that guy. That's what he says, Jackin. You were sent here to kill me, so why haven't you? I don't want to. What do your captains have to say about that? You should ask them. <gasps> Sorcery though. You know what, he knows why? magic. I don't believe him. We had philosophical differences. Over what? Your beauty. It meant more to me than it did to them. Simplest man you'll ever meet. I only do what I want to do. What in this is supposed to impress me? Why would I trust a man who murders his comrades? Right. That's they what I was thinking. They me to murder you. I told them I preferred not to. They told me I had no choice. I told them I am Dario Nahais. I always have a choice. They drew their swords and I drew mine. There you go. I still don't trust him, man. He snuck up. Put your girl under the Will knife. You fight for me? Second sons are yours, and so is Dario Naharis. My sword is yours, my life is yours. I don't trust him. My heart is yours. Yeah, what motive does he have to do this? He is a sickle. That's like Dothraki. That's confusing. Yeah, you damn raw harvester. But you know what I'm saying, though? Why would he go in there and just sacrifice it all for her? Really ought to knock. I brought you breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> So it was the floor. Maybe Tyrion should just tell Sansa about Shay. Right, because then she'll be cool with it and invite her over all the time. Yo, it's one of those trees. The first men trees. Next to a hut. Thank goodness. It's getting dark. We could stay here for the night. Aw, two parents in the woods. What's the baby's name again? Doesn't have a name yet. She didn't want to name it because of Right. <laughs> those spies. That's weird, man. You can't even trust the birds in the show. How hard could it be to build a fire? It doesn't matter. Come under the furs, we can keep each other warm. Uh-oh. Man, that would suck for that poor little baby. He winked at me before. I doubt it. Oh, I, saw, <laughs> I saw him wink at me. He blinked. I suppose it's a rather philosophical difference between a wink and a blink. I mean, there's no real difference. A wink is on purpose. Isn't a wink with one eye, though? Yeah. You thought of a name yet? It would be easier to refer to him if he had a name. Sometimes. Do you talk fancy on purpose to confuse me? No. This is just the way I talk. I'll build that fire. Yeah, she's probably good at it. Don't you think he should have a name? I don't know many boys' names. There's Duncan, Kevin, John. Oh, John. Guyman. Two Bs. Craster. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll skip that one. Maybe that's not... Mormon. That's a lovely idea. Mormon's a last name. Why is it a last name? It's a family name. For instance, I'm Samuel Tarly. Samuel is my birth name, and Tarly is my family name. My father's also a Tarly. His name's Samuel Tarly too. <laughs> Randall Tarly. Randall is a handsome name. Please don't name him Randall. His dad's mean. Right. Is your father cruel like mine? Basically. Different manner of cruel. Not Randall then. Good. But you better come up with something. Don't. Don't go out there. I'll be back. Want to look. What's that stick of... supposed to do? Oh, it's dark out there already? Yeah. It's a swarm of crows, it sounds like. Is that symbolic that the crows need some prayers? I don't know what that's about. I Maybe mean, it just means winter's coming. Go inside. Go back inside. Look at him being a protector, though. Yo, is that a White Walker? It's come for the baby. How did it know, though? Sam's about to step up. Let's go, Sam. Look at its hair just blowing in the wind, all majestic. So like head and shoulders. Stay back! Oh, my God. You stay back! Oh, my. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
the artifact. No, no that works. <laughs> didn't Osha say she stabbed her husband in the heart and it didn't do anything? Oh my Why God. did that work? It must be like the material of it. Like that little knife he's got? The little dagger? Oh, like the arrowhead. Yeah, that thing. I see. What is it? They found it at the fist of the first men and someone left it for them, obviously. Right, they said that they found it had been there for that long, like since the first men. Yo, that was nuts. So there's a <laughs> weapon that can kill these things. Right. It's the weapon or whatever the weapon's made of. I'm not really sure. All right, guys, so shoot, man. We are getting closer to the end of this season. That was nuts. So Sam stepped up in the end. The courage came out. This man straight up gave him a kidney stab with the arrowhead looking dagger. And I don't know what this thing is exactly called or what the properties of it are, but this thing killed it's a white walker. around Walmart. forever. So it looks like we got a blueprint, like something that we can use to like hurt these things. Yeah, because before it just seemed like fire. But how right, can right, you, right. you can't have that much fire in the north, you know? Yeah, I mean, you really have to pull out all the like the arrows with the and th that wouldn't be very good in like open field right like that would be great if you're like man in the castle wall or something you know but right. once you're close to close combat i mean you okay. have to have like a flaming so sword. it seems like we have an element it's kind of like in in marvel like vibranium yeah exactly that's that's kind of what i was thinking i didn't want to bring that up and right <laughs> i hate to always like parallel it you know but it's kind of hard not to but like since we've seen something that's kind of like you know it kind of helps us understand maybe that's what it is that's just the what we're get, picking up right yeah. So basically in this episode, babe, we realized that even though Joff Joffrey's starting to realize that he is kind of behind the eight ball when it comes to the politics of the seven kingdoms, mm -hmm. and he realized he really needs to step it up in that regard. But as you can see, the immaturity came out during the wedding of Tyrion. He's still so immature. At the end of the day, his motive was to just torture Sansa. He's a For child. No reason, he's yeah. a child. He's almost like he's like a middle school boy. I mean, he really is, you mm -hmm. know, who just wants to torture a little girl for no reason. Really sucks, man. Shay is just in the worst situation. So her man's is married to Sansa or her man's is marrying Sansa. She was for sure that he bedded her down that night. She walked in the room and it turns out that she didn't. So right. we'll see what's up with that. But that just seems like that's going to blow up. Right. And I'm assuming that they're going to get in some type of huge heated argument and that's all going to come out. That's got to come out somehow. Or she's going to get exposed somehow, I feel. You know, when you're like thinking of a show like is is uh Tyrion's lady what's her name I'm blanking out what's her name Tyrion Tyrion's Tyrion's lady Sansa? not Sansa uh, Shay is Shay like in game material is she gonna be in the show the whole entire time I have no idea you know how like there's so many characters in this show you would think to yourself like they're gonna come and go some will be main characters some will I'm trying to figure out like who's gonna stay who's gonna go right. because every show sort of does that and I'm not really sure about Shay yeah she kind of seems like main character vibes to me though because I really like the dynamic of her being around Tyrion he seems like softer it's just really hard because Shay Shay's so like not clear about her past. So like, I don't really know if she, how important she really is. You well, know I think what, what they're going to do is they're going to use Shay to eventually introduce us to another place, which is where she's from. And I think eventually we'll go there, hopefully, and we'll learn more about that place. Either that or just use her as blackmail for Tyrion throughout the whole seasons. Like in a way, that's what keeps Tyrion. Because, you know, Tyrion, in a sense, has nothing to lose, right? Everyone right. hates him. He's he's a sin, like he's highborn, but essentially, you know, he was given the short end of the stick. Mm. Not trying to be funny, but seriously. Yeah, so maybe Shay would be a huge piece of leverage for him. Yeah. What else happened in this episode? Not really sure what's going on with the, the Three-Eyed Raven and all that stuff. Uh, the Warg still kind of unsure with that. It's pretty useful that they can do that, though, because they're able to communicate that John's not at the wall. Right. He's beyond the wall. I think, I think though, just their, the way that this guy, Jojen, is so drawn to John right now. Mm -hmm. It's stressful because like, what does John have to do with anything? Is it to save him? I don't know. So you might realize a very like occurring theme in these shows that every time something happens, we're like, yo, this is stressful. But that's because this show offers no happy moments, really. Right. I mean, this is just this like is a even very Sansa's dark... wedding. Like there wasn't a, even a single moment of where anyone smiled, not even her. Right. Yeah. What else happened in the show? We learned more about the Reigns of Castamere song. Don't try the Lannisters. We learned. Yeah. We learned that Marjorie and um, Cersei are not really into each other, man. They're Cersei enemies. really drew back lines in that episode when she said that well her. cersei doesn't like marjorie anyways because marjorie's hold on joffrey and she feels like it's gonna just like demean the lannister name because the tyrells are the second they're kind of like the second place team mm -hmm. so like any anything that could like interfere with the lannisters being like you yeah, know basically they could jump them yeah yeah absolutely. and and like kind of that's where it seems like it's going that's why tywin took control of the marriages right tyrells seem to have a way of like almost smirking the fact that like you know i know we're not in charge of the seven kingdoms like i know that's kind of you guys but at the end of the day you know what I'm saying like 
we are what we are. You need us. Like, you know yeah, you need us. Like, she doesn't seem food. to like that. Yeah. She doesn't like that one bit. So, well, because in the end of the day, none of that was harming her. And the Tyrells seem to be like affecting the people around them more. Like, if you notice, Cersei gets so angry. Yeah, they are. They really are. Like, they're getting in everyone's ear. Cersei gets very angry with people differently than she gets upset with her dad. Mm -hmm. Like, her dad's literally marrying her off and she's sulking, but she's not like, she's not, pl she's not like plotting his murder or anything. But have you noticed Cersei gets very like egotistical about everything? But when it comes to her dad, she doesn't. Well, yeah, you heard her talking about that song. She didn't say they try to go against the Lannister. She said her dad. Yeah, she, she gets her ego from her dad's war accomplishments, I believe. When you right. get that vibe? Right, because I feel like she can stand behind him in any moment because she's a Lannister. Right. I did notice in this episode, man, Tywin just isn't gonna, he's just not gonna bow to. No, I Joffrey, love, and honestly, I love, I love that, that about him. That's hard, yeah. It makes me love Tywin. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty dope, yeah. Because he's like, I'm not bowing to this tomfoolery. I run the kingdoms. Yeah. I'm in the shadows. That's why I have this black outfit on. I'm in the shadows. I'm the shadow man. I would be really, I'd be really <laughs> sad if we didn't mention, well, for starters, we need to get Arya, and then we need to mention Jamie. Mm -hmm. So Arya got snatched up by the Hound. Um, He seems like a pretty good guy, man. I'm having a really hard time reading the Hound's character. That's why yeah. I don't really talk to, about him very much, because I'm going to be so wrong, guys. I feel like the show's sort of giving me the vibe that I'm supposed to root for him well, and think the, that he's the a morally thing, great character. I think about the Hound that we all kind of know is the Hound kind of has lived his life like kind of living with like the problems his brother has given him. Like and it right. started out with his Ruined face his being name. burnt. Right. Oh, his brother yeah, did that to him. So his brother did that to him, right? And like since then, he's been deathly a terrified, deathly afraid of fire. So afraid that he basically turned his back on his entire on the realm. Right. Yeah. yeah so so he's kind of like you know MIA right now. But I just feel like he's kind of like going to freedom because everything he does is in his house name, which his house name isn't good. Remember, like right, it sucks. Right. They were talking about it, and they said they were like they murder squires and right. young boys. You and, killed all these people at right. Mummers Mummers Ford or something like that and he's like i wasn't there that was my brother yeah well yeah but your brother's your brother so that's on you yeah you know man i'm sitting here oh i know what it is i'm sitting there wondering like why is it like why is my inclination that the hound's not a horrible person and I think it's because he helped Sansa. I forgot about that. But right. He, he did. spared her and he saved her. And, right. And, and he, he can. He said he would be there for her. Well, he did it multiple times. Yeah. He saved Sansa from herself <laughs> with Joffrey a few times. And he offered her to go with with him right now. Yeah. Oh, and I'm kind of glad he didn't, though, because Sansa would not fare well in those situations. Arya is a little more fit for him. So let's talk about Arya. Well, Arya seems very lucky <laughs> right, right now. Like She hasn't really. Like, she's she's sort of been taken though. care of so far. Like She's found herself like by her own wit, 100%. Because Arya gives me the sense that like. Like she finds a way to navigate in and out of society, but by her own wit, she's she's been very lucky to not be caught in a position where she's alone and vulnerable too much, mm -hmm. right? Which is great. But now that Gendry's gone, and I guess they, there's so much to talk about in this damn episode, guys. Gendry got attacked by some leeches. Right. So instead of sacrificing them, which was the vibe I was about to get. Yeah, I thought she was she about to kill him. Blood. So it's literally not really the act of sacrifice that's demanded. It's more of the blood. But for some reason, like people just don't like to give up their blood. So it takes all this war and bloodshed, right? Right. But I feel like so if you would have brought him there and you would have, you could have figured out another way to do that than with leeches. You could have told him what's up. You like, let me saying? get a blood sample so we can win, bro. Just, just do it. Like, this is your uncle. <laughs> yeah. What else, babe? Is there anything else? John's, Jamie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we talk about John real quick? So I don't yeah. forget, though, because Jamie's such a big part of the story. I feel like John's character is, I don't know, guys, like I'm getting like some background character vibes with Jon Snow. Like maybe that'll change. Maybe they're I feel just like, going to write him out. I did, don't know. In the beginning, and I, I don't want anyone to think I like don't like John or anything because I do. I really do like John's character. But in the beginning, in the first couple seasons, John just always had like an irritated face on and like always just said like the shortest stuff, basically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was like, like, so short, not really thought out. And then he comes to the wildlings and it's like, He's free. Like his personality changes. Well, he's kind of free. He's not really free. But he, he acts more free. He doesn't have like the personality and the demeanor of like, yes, sir, I'm going to bow to you. Like he seems like he's like more like, you know, he's he has a little bit more of a personality. Well, for the he gives first it back time in his eager, life, he's not eager. completely at the bottom of like society's hierarchy. You know, mm. like he's always been like literally, I wouldn't say the bottom. I'm sure women are below him in this hierarchy. He's kind of needed for something. He's right definitely now. at the bottom of like the power structure in so many ways. So right. there's just tons of layers right. ahead of him. And a lot of those layers are women you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so he's really at the i wouldn't say he's at like the total bottom i think to me like at the bottom would be being like the brothel or something no i think at the bottom is being in the night's watch because you know how it is you know how sending people to the night's watches is like a sin it's like but the starks are well, the only people who think it's a good thing you know right yeah that is true but i don't <laughs> really consider that part of society that's like an outset of society like society i'm talking about more of like the set the the realm 
you yeah. know like uh yeah john's just got a tough very interesting character but to be honest guys kind of a boring character right I'm now he picks I, up a little bit right like, and i think when maybe uh hopefully when brand finds him which which is going to be a whole other thing because when he goes to the the wall and like actually is he actually going to hurt his men no i don't think so he took an oath i hope his oaths dude. matter so obviously i'm missing the i'm sorry to interrupt you baby no, i'm an no. idiot i'm missing the biggest elephant right here obviously they're on a collision course bran and john are gonna have like john's gonna have to make a decision mm -hmm. john's either gonna have to kill bran when they get there or he's gonna have to be a wildling i don't know john's confused man like i said like for the first time he's just in this and and he's not even like fitting in in this society he's still at the bottom of it everyone talks talks to him like he's a crow they speak to him like he doesn't fit in every time he mentions like his culture his way of doing things what he loves you know anytime he basically like humanizes anyone from his part of the realm the wildlings are very quick to just mock it mm. and to just like know, even his it. girlfriend mocks every single thing about everything right and if you have a partner that mocks everything you say it's just not really gonna last so i don't really know how because it's all he go. knows you know and right and like my whole thing is i'm still kind of wondering what his journey is because i really thought he was going there anyways to find his uncle but then it seems like the Night's Watch people are really going there to find out what the White Walkers are doing. They find it out. They retreat. Most of them die. But still, it's unclear what exactly John's doing. Right. And that's why I don't really talk about him as much. I just try to remember to throw him in there because he is a character. In my mind, guys, he's just sort of a character that bridges us into the North. I mean, without or John, whatever, really or the wildlings, insight. and maybe like for future, we need the wildlings to help us or something. Well, or... the the whole idea that I'm getting is like all these, basically everything that's happening right now in my mind, eventually isn't really going to matter because all that's ultimately going to matter is the war that's going to be held against the White Walkers. Right, but right. see, for me, I'm confused about that. I'm confused if John's rising the, them up to help with Rob to help with that. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't know. It's like it's too early, maybe. You know, maybe Rob doesn't even know. Maybe Rob's just taking the path. Of it comes man you know we don't know guys if there's anything we missed jamie. i do want to oh yeah jamie 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 thank you baby go ahead okay so what jamie did for brianne i know that was probably not this la this episode right here but that was like honestly it made the storyline between them just that much better because it kind of showed character development for jamie why am i wanting them to get together I don't am I, I weird in my head I don't really want them to get together I just feel like they have an understanding of like having each other's back and like Brienne is the ultimate like if I tell you if I give you my word that's my word and Jamie is like the ultimate oath breaker and like their contrast personalities to me make them so good it almost seems like she's the perfect specimen to bring Jamie's character to its ultimate peak and so I guess the reason you know a good woman shapes a good man right so Jamie's whole character is I sleep with my sister I'm high born blah 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 man my junk don't stink like and shut up my exactly. dad will pay for it but with yeah. her you know he insults her appearance he insults her womanliness he insults her demeanors uh he basically insults her in every way and it's almost like all these artificial like shallow things that all these like physical things that don't really matter at the end right. of the day it seems like jamie's becoming i guess like above that you know yeah. what I'm saying? and she's a really good just representation of jamie's ability to get better because i kind of hate jamie as a, as a as like a human being like in, in real life like in real life if you knew <laughs> jamie you wouldn't like him okay he's on a tv show so you like him but you wouldn't like that but guy in that in the last episode when they were in the hot tub he like she was like help the king slayer needs help and he said jamie my name is jamie and i feel like that was like a start to a new him like taking away the king slayer name for the 17 years that it's been like cursing him yeah but i'm also not the world's biggest believer in second chances because i mean like you murdered your way out of prison bro like you're not exactly like a changed man well yeah i'm just not buying well, yeah. jamie dude i don't know like i really like the character but at the end of the day i, I really hope he gets what's coming to him he's a he's a murderer to me like he's i don't know but brianne on the other hand like that's the one i can get behind because as of yet like she hasn't done anything just downright evil once you commit just an absolute evil act especially just to save your own skin which doesn't deserve to be saved i just can't really root for you anymore well she was honorable and jamie saved someone who's honorable so to me that is an honorable deed i feel like the whole reason of jamie though is to make people like me confused because eventually i'm gonna be like you know what i'm saying <laughs> and i don't know why i'm gonna be like that especially when he's just such a foul human being but you know what i do like jamie my admiration for him jumped a lot somebody needs some damn redemption in the show so hopefully it is jamie uh yeah somebody does what's I up with two b's she's pregnant yeah yeah so we're yeah like i said man we're gonna be an uncle guys so 
That's cool, man. Um, I just, to me, about that. I just don't know if that's like a huge distraction. It's stressful, right? Because a baby during a war just seems like. And it's like not just the war. It's like such a critical time in the war. Like you're about to go take uh, Casterly Rock, right? You're about to go take Casterly Rock and you need, you're trying to convince these people. You're marrying off this uncle who's shady. He might get cold feet. We don't really know. Yeah, true. So <laughs> you're doing all this and like it's still up in the air. Could any of this really happen? Like, I, I don't know. It's like this is the next point we're at. This wedding, right? We will see. Yeah, the weddings are coming, I guess. So. And, and Arya is going to get to see her family, and that's really great. Like, But now that I'm becoming more invested in the show, guys, I'm getting... So I am getting the idea, dude. As I'm sitting here, I think in real time, Rob's probably going to be successful with the phrase. He's probably going to take that army, and it's probably going to bring hell to King's Landing, right? And so the next season that we get is probably going to be the aftermath yeah, of the some, destruction of King's Landing. Like, Edmure's probably going to be tortured. And I'm like, scared. I, <laughs> he's I don't probably going to be, like, tortured or, like, worse. Yeah. There's some good folk down in King's Landing, though. There's, like, a lot of really crappy people, but there are some good people down there. So, it, you know, I'm nervous about it, man. I'm ready to get into it. I'm ready to get into it. And, and when they do, is like... So when he does take Casterly, I don't even know, man. This is just like it could go so many ways, guys. Oh my god! And then Daenerys, like I don't even know how much we talked about her, but well, we apparently did, she's got a did. new. She's man. got another dude who just hopped on her bandwagon. I guess her beauty just makes everyone. But just what wanna... scares me about this dude though is he's all about this like Lord of the Light stuff. And you know, those people are full of some sacrifices. So what if he like tries to burn her or something, but she'll survive? Well, he's stressing me out, bro. He looks like he got done chewing on an electrical cord. <laughs> I don't know. He gives me some weird vibes, man. But he does, he does resemble Jacken. Maybe it was the heads that he just dropped in the floor. Maybe that just had me a little thrown off. Yeah. Yeah, they're like the same, like their cousins or something. Uh they, they gotta be from the same place. Where are they from? Bravos? I don't know. They 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 just from like the free cities, but I know that I don't know, I know that the god's name is Roller or something. Something like that. You guys told me in the comments at one point where that dude was from. I don't remember what you said, but you guys definitely know. Just tell me again where that dude's from, because I feel like that's something that we should know at this point. It might be really important. I don't know. Like right. if we if when I start to realize when people use the same phrases like you can kind of tell where they're from from the phrases yeah and yeah i don't i don't know but yeah man i'm not really sure where that he's guy's a suspicious from, character let's just put it that way yeah. we have our eyes on that guy is there anything that we're missing maybe Ooh, what if he's a wizard a wizard you know how the they remember when she picked up that ball and that wizard's still trying to come after her what you if, think so i don't know that guy was a warlock a, a warlock wizard. yeah yeah what if it's like Remember, they they form into a little girl. Yeah. Why couldn't they do it to that guy? Guys, I don't know, man. This show is just going straight bananas. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know what this next season is going to look like. Like Something's got to give, though. Doesn't it seem like that? Like, right. That's why I think a war is coming, man. I think it's going to really shake the show up. And I'm just not really sure. Like I, I, I don't know when we take Casterly Rock, what's going to happen after that. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see some more content. We react to these things, man, from start to finish, uh, the whole entire episode. So you can get all kinds of stuff over on Patreon. We're really starting to build up our catalog over there. And if you want some more content, go check it out. I definitely think it's worth it. And if not, we will see you guys right back here soon. So season three is coming. We got two more episodes. Looking forward to it.